Nobody expects this. Spanish Inquisition. 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 That's what I'm saying! <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Alana Alice and welcome back to Cards Against Humanity! I'm here with Morgan and Miss Jade Louise 14 again. Hello. We carried on from the last game we played. Morgan won the last game because he got to 5 first, so next we're doing next to 10. Go! Blank, good to the last drop. And we're doing a random one because there's not really enough players. Alcoholism, good to the last drop. <laughs> Ed Balls, good to the last drop. 5,000 volts straight to the nipples, good to the last drop. Oh, I don't know. Go alcoholism. Way! Introducing the amazing superhero slash sidekick duo, it's blank and blank. Introducing the amazing superhero sidekick duo, it's, it's powerful. Eyes. Thighs and being fabulous. <laughs> Introducing this amazing superhero sidekick duo. It's goblins and the north. Introducing the amazing superhero sidekick duo. It's being a motherfucking sorcerer. Sorcerer. <laughs> And NYX body spray. So being a sorcerer and Link's body spray. <laughs> that this was this was got it in the bag. That's the bloody random one again. If you're gonna keep that in, aren't you? No, no, I've got that out. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Inquisition. What don't you want to find in your kung pao chicken? Um. Ready? Yeah. What don't you want to find in your Kung Pao chicken? Brown people. <laughs> <laughs> what don't you want to find in your Kung Pao chicken? Nickelback. <laughs> what don't you want to find in your Kung Pao chicken? The stick. <laughs> Who was brown people? That was a random one. Yeah. That was too good. <laughs> <laughs> I kept by with a little help from. I kept by with a little help from a good stick. I kept by with a little help from. Unfathomable stupidity. <laughs> That's you, Nella. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking that. I kept by with a little help from. <laughs> Amputees. <laughs> Was that the random one again? That wasn't me. Oh, for God's sake. In M. Night Shyamalan's new movie, Bruce Willis discovers that blank had really been blank all along. In M. Night Shyamalan's new movie, Bruce Willis discovers that William Shatner had really been a middle-aged man on roller skates means all along. <laughs> In M.I. Shyamalan's new movie, Bruce Willis discovers that classist undertones had really been anything that comes out of Prince Philip's mouth all along. That was horrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> In M.I. Shyamalan's new movie, Bruce Willis discovers that peeing a little bit had really been some bloody fix and quiet all along. <laughs> Peeing a little bit as some piece of quiet or William Shatner on roller skates. <laughs> what about William Shatner on roller skates? In a world ravaged by blank, our only solace is blank. In a world ravaged by silence, our only solace is self loathing. <laughs> I like that one. In a world ravaged by centaurs, our only solace is saying I love you. <laughs> In a world ravaged by poverty, our only solace is getting naked and watching the CBBs. <laughs> I've got to say that one. Oh, no. That was a good one, actually. What did the US airdrop to the children of Afghanistan? Of Afghanistan. <laughs> 
What did the US airdrop to the children of Afghanistan? Dark and mysterious forces beyond our control. <laughs> Some are Satan over there. What did the US airdrop to the children of Afghanistan? A cooler full of organs. <laughs> What did the US airdrop to the children of Afghanistan? African children. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna go with African children. I guess it actually holds. No, I think that was a random one. <laughs> Con. <laughs> oh, I <it> hurt! <laughs> Blank. Kid tested, mother approved. Oh. One direction, supple hairless bodies. Kid tested, mother approved. A brain tumor. Kid tested, mother approved. Oh, Horrifying laser hair. Kid tested. I want to say horrifying laser hair removal accident. Go for it. Whose was that? That was a random one, yeah, wasn't it? <laughs> God's sake. Blank, that was so metal. Jay Goody's cancerous remains, that was Ooh. so metal. <laughs> Sex with Patrick Stewart, that was so metal. Man meat, that was so metal. <laughs> I'm gonna go with sex with Patrick Stewart. That's me. Damn. Airport security guidelines now prohibit blank on airplanes. Airport security guidelines now prohibit Lady Gaga on airplanes. <laughs> Airport security guidelines now prohibit the morbid obese <laughs> on airplanes. <laughs> Airport security guidelines now prohibit a live studio audience on airplanes. <laughs> the morbidly obese. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of coal, Father Christmas now gives bad children blankets. Instead of coal, Father Christmas now gives bad children landmines. <laughs> Christmas now gives bad children not reciprocated oral sex. It's still cold, Father Christmas now gives bad children trench foot. <laughs> and good landmine. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Kaboom! After the earthquake, Sean Penn brought blank to the people of Haiti. After the earthquake, Sean Penn brought puppies to the people of Haiti. After the earthquake, Sean Penn brought the BNP to the people of Haiti. Not a clue. What's the BNP? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing that's the random one. After the earthquake, Sean Penn brought chunks of... <laughs> what? <laughs> chunks of dead in China. <laughs> <laughs> to the people of Haiti. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who was that? That's gone it. That has gone it. Oh, the chunks of dead hitchhiker. Yeah. One me. It wasn't me. Mine was puppies. Mine was the big. <laughs> Why are the random ones so blooming good? And the BAFTA four blank goes to blank. And the BAFTA four inserting a mason chart into my anus goes to. Vikings. <laughs> and the BAFTA for the end of days goes to Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> He's just an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and the BAFTA for invading Poland goes to a pyramid of seven heads. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this one. The BAFTA for the end of days goes to Daniel Radcliffe's delicious arsehole. That was That's alone. got it. What never fails to liven up a party? Go! What never fails to liven up a party? A bitch slap. <laughs> what never fails to liven up a party? Haggis. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, that was a little bit of a party. My genitals. <laughs> Who's was genitals? Will it win? Yes. <laughs> That's my one. That's like saying if it isn't, then it's not mine. They said we were crazy. They said we couldn't put blank instead of blank. They were wrong. They said we couldn't. They said we couldn't put AIDS inside of you because they were wrong. <laughs> They said we were crazy. They said we couldn't put three dicks at the same time inside of flightless birds. They were wrong. <laughs> they said we were crazy. They said we couldn't we couldn't put being on fire inside of teenage pregnancy. They were wrong. Oh. I'm going with this one. Three dicks inside the flightless birds. What will always get you laid? Put the guinea pig because she won't stop squeaking. Right. So, what will always get you laid? First one was du druids. Still can't say that. What will always get you laid? An endless stream of diarrhea. What will always get you laid? An erection that lasts longer than four hours. <laughs> Whose is that? Erection it is. <laughs> Have what you want? I want nine. After four platinum albums and three Grammys, it's time to get back to what to my roots. To what inspired me to make music in the first place. After four platinum albums and three Grammys, it's time to get back to my roots. To what inspired me to make music in the first place. A man on the brink of orgasm. <laughs> After four platinum albums and three Grammys, it's time to get back to my roots. To what inspired me to make music in the first place. An M. Night Shyamalan plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> After four platinum albums and three Grammys, it's time to get back to my roots. To what inspired me to make music in the first place. A thousand Scottish warriors lifting their kilts in unison. Look <laughs> on the man on the brink of orgasm. Yes, please. You're a man on the brink of all this. <laughs> what is there a ton of in heaven? What is there a ton of in heaven? Gandhi. <laughs> it's a whole ton of Gandhi in heaven. <laughs> what is there a ton of in heaven? German dungeon porn. <laughs> what is there a ton of in heaven? What cheese? <laughs> or, or what cheese can go bad in hell? Ah, good one. <laughs> German Dungeon Ball. Yes! And now uh, it was Morgan at 10. I win both games. So Morgan won. Morgan won again. <laughs> so we're going to leave this here. Um, thank you guys for putting up. So we're going to leave this here. Thank you guys again for putting yourselves through this video. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, whack that like button. I'm like that a bit more original, but make it a bit more original. Oh come on, they're all the same! Anyway, okay, let's try it again. You're squishing the guinea pig's head. No, she's not like guinea pig. She's not your guinea pig. Careful! I've stolen the guinea pig. Scully, her name is. Barbara. It's Barbara, do you say? Barbara. You are not calling my guinea pig Barbara. Barbara. <laughs> anyway, let's try this. Again. So we're gonna leave this episode. So we're gonna leave this episode here. If you liked it, click that thumbs up button. Help me think of an outro. If you liked it, help me think of a decent outro that I can use for myself. Um, <laughs> drop a comment if you want to see more. Let me know, and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>